Hello everybody. Thank you for stopping by. This is Sunshine Honey Bee's channel and I am Nicole and I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for staying in there with me. And for those who are new and joining me, I appreciate you guys. So um, before I get started, I just wanted to share some, some news. Um, on my channel, Sunshine Honey Bee's, I am having a 700 Scrubby Challenge. So if you have not participated, please do so. Um, I want to get to know other people, other new crowd and for all of the ones that continuously to support me once again thank you so much um there will be different prizes um depending upon how many folks i get i will either have one or two or maybe even three so some stuff is handmade and some stuff will be bought so um please stop by my channel and um come and join in in my 700 and help me celebrate so today i am bringing to you guys i am doing a collab and this collab is with um, Scrappy Tate. She is hosting something a little different. She does like a little Christmas in July. It's usually 24 days or 25 days of Christmas. But this time she's putting a little twist on it. So it is called Christmas in July, but it's a kit swap. So the kit swap, you're supposed to add certain things into it. So you would send your kit to, to whoever she gives you. And you don't say the name. You send that kit to the person. But you will get a kit back. But you, you're not going to get it back from the same person. You will get it back from whoever. And then once you get your kit. And the other people get their kit. You, we will put our kits together. Make what we're going to make. And then whatever we create will be sent to somebody else. How fun is that? Because you really don't know who you send this stuff to. Until you get their name. Which is kind of fun for me. So thank you Scrappy Tate. This is something new for me. So we will include... Um, certain things and I will uh collab swap so um everything had to be out by going to the person your kid had to be out by May 22nd and so in it we're supposed to make a couple of videos four videos one video for what we're mailing out a video for what we receive for our project and then another video with the completed projects that we completed and the fourth video is what I received back from whoever completed what they completed and sent back to me. So that's kind of fun. Um, some of the stuff they definitely had to be in there was three uh, ribbon with three bows and um, three rosettes. So, and then whatever else you wanted to add. So I'm going to show you what I just put together as a kit. So first thing is I started with some paper and I really wanted to send 12 by 12 paper, but... You know, it's like $15 just to send a box now. And it doesn't even make sense to try to put it in the envelopes because it ain't going to work. But this is my paper choice that I did. I cut out some 12 by 12 different pattern papers. And um, because the name that I have, this person does a lot of uh, traditional um, Christmas. So I wanted to be sweet and send her traditional with a little something, something. So I have this set here, which is like the... Uh, ornaments i sent like a ho 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 one um i sent some gold because you always need a little gold to go with this color here i did some plaids and then this is like another kind of plaid and green with a little gold you can kind of see there and then i just did some red paper and then i did some green paper these are all just plain card socks so this will be my paper choice that i chose for her and then um I, these are my these are going to be some of the bowls that I've given her and um let me just use this um these are just two other little extra ones that I did but what I did was I had put together um a few packages but let me just find the rest of the bowls because I was already showing you that so this is what I decided to put together for her these bowls here and I didn't, again, I didn't want to uh, make a big thing of bows, so I just left them kind of flat. Um, but this is what I created for her. These are the bows. I sent her more than enough, but I thought these was cute Christmas bows. So I sent her these along with those. And um, then I sent her a whole bag of just stuff. So... I wanted to, you know, you got to have some bling. 
So this is what I gave her some of these uh, gem embellishments, but these are like them thicker ones. So it's like you sit in the center of something. So I have those. And then I did a lot of, I uh, gave her a lot of die cuts and stuff. But I also gave her some like um, pieces like this, which have different stuff on it, just in case she needed to cut something down or add a little extra something. So I gave her those uh, cards. And then I gave her a bunch of different um, pieces, like these two. And I gave a lot, a lot of die, card, uh, die cuts because you never know. Then I have this one. I gave her some of these cute uh, snowflakes. And let me just take everything out. I gave a lot of these uh, little... Uh, from Michaels, I had a lot from last year. So I gave her a bunch of these to use on her project. And these are just like, you know, you can just, they're like the foam pieces. So a lot of different foam pieces I gave her. I gave her some doilies, two doilies, no, three doilies. And then I gave her um, some candy canes. I gave two wood pieces, um, and I gave her some other little foam pieces that are um, candy canes and candies. And I also gave her a few reindeers. So that's all in one bag, and I'm just putting it in this cute little Christmas bag. And then I made her... A small package and these are with the rosettes so three I did I put something on and I didn't embellish it too much because I don't know what she wants to do but on this side I added some ribbons four kinds of ribbons guys and I added some three more of my rosettes that are just plain um, I'm get, giving her some of these cute Christmas trees I had one uh, ice skate, so I'm giving her that. And then I had punched out some, well, die cut it these little uh, Santas with the reindeers. Well, one reindeer. And then I have like these two candles, so I'm gifting her that. I found some of, and these are like all the stuff that I had already. Um, have that I already had punched out stuff that I use for my Christmas so I gave her some snowmen and some of these I don't know what you call them angels those are angels actually and I'm giving her some of these cute flowers that I have Porcinias that I have actually this punch belongs to uh, crappy Jojo C on the YT which is my sister but I always take her stuff so these are some flowers, some small ones, some little flowers here, some persinias here, and some Christmas trees. And I did like some glitter ones, some mostly foil. And I did foil in gold and red for her with these flowers. And then I have um, a few little, uh, little, not well, some tags, but just like she can use these in the front of her cars if she likes. Or whatever she's making and then I'm giving her some of these little uh, snowmen and then in this package I have a little bit more ephemera pieces in here that I put together for her and these are like things that she can use Merry Christmas ones this one says naughty or nice then you got ho 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 and I got Butterfingers today. And this is like a big tag. Happy Holidays. <clears throat> so I have all these. Um, I cut all of these out in one of my, in a couple of my books. And just put it together. So that she can use on whatever she wants to use. Whatever project she used. But that's what I did. 
And so this is what my person will be receiving from me in this um, <clears throat> July Christmas. And I hope that these pieces help and I hope that whoever received this, which I do know who it is, um, I hope that she puts something very awesome together with what I am sending to her. So guys, thank you so much. And stop over to um, Scrappy Tate's channel. Um, and Scrappy Tate, thank you so much. And for my mystery person, I hope you enjoy everything. Thank you.